Hello, welcome to a new video of the course. During the next videos we will see how we can manage organizations, users, teams, permissions, etc. So, the first thing we are going to do is see how to work and how to manage organizations. What is an organization? An organization is an entity that will have its own components, that is, its own dashboards, plugins, data sources, playlists, etc. Why? Because in this way, I can have entities isolated from each other, so I can have, for example, an environment for one company and another environment for another. Or even, within the company itself, we can have different organizations, for example, for development, for production, or for other areas. In fact, each organization may have its own default preferences, such as theme, language, and other properties. We select the administration option from the Grafana menu. Once inside administration we select the general tab and inside we have a tab called organizations. If I select that option, we can see that we have one called main org, that is, one that has been created by default at the time of installing Grafana. If I want to add a new organization, I'm going to click here in the new org button. I'm going to name it my company. I click on the create button and it will be created. When I create an organization, Grafana automatically places me in that organization. I can check that I am in the default preferences option of the general tab, where I can configure the characteristics of this organization. To make a small example, I'm going to change the interface theme of the organization interface. Let's select light. We're going to have the light theme, the default dashboard, the time zone, etc. Here I'm going to change, for example, to Spanish language. I click on save. In addition, if I go to the Dashboards tab I can see that I have nothing, since everything we have created throughout the course belongs to the other organization. An organization independent of the other. The data, components and resources that the other had are not inherited. This organization has its own preferences and its own components, so all I have to do is changing organizations when I need to see one or the other. And how do you do that? Here above on the left you have a list where you can change your organization. The list only appears in the event that we have more than one organization. For example, I can switch from my company to main.org. You can see that I have the dark look again. And if I go to the dashboards tab, all the folders that we have created during the course already appear again. I can rename the organization within administration, general, and default preferences. In this case I am going to name the organization as Grafana Course. I click in the Update Organization Name button. Therefore, I can have different slots where I will be able to have one organization or another, one department or another. That is, I can choose the best for the company. Well, I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one.